Quick channel update. I just switched to a new video editing software and it's been a steep learning curve and a lot of the tools from my old software did not transfer over. So why am I telling you this? It's because you might notice a little different look to my videos and uh, especially the next few coming up as I experiment and learn a little more how to use this software. So if you're all into technology and want to know all the details, just let me know in the comments and I'll give you more info. If you could care less about all that and you're just like, hey, I want to see a fishing video, all right, here's an awesome video just for you. This is Tomahawk Lake, also known as Big Tom. It's located in northern Wisconsin near the town of Minocqua. We are staying at the Indian Mound State Campground and are using the landing located inside the park on the east side. At 3,400 acres, this is big water. You can catch everything from trophy muskie down to endless bluegills. With great structure, clear water, and good fishing, Tomahawk Lake makes my top 10 lakes to fish in Wisconsin. Our goal is to provide you with the best lake info on the web. We are not professional fishermen, just people who love to fish. And we are so glad you're here. My name's Randy. Welcome to Go Midwest Fishing. It's time for me and Reggie to be on our spring fishing trip and we are back here in uh, the Rhinelander area and we're starting off on Tomahawk Lake. All right whenever we fish a new lake I like to use these uh, Sportsman's Connection guidebooks. So in this one we got the northern Wisconsin one, Oneida area. So uh, here's Tomahawk Lake and according to this it is 3,400 acres says it's a, it's a big fishery. It holds uh, some large muskies and walleyes. They're talking, you know, muskies 50 inches and bigger here. So we're really excited about that. And muskie season just opened. Now, thing to know about this, they do have big walleyes, but the signs on the landing there say you can't keep any walleyes. They're in a kind of a restoration process here, trying to grow the walleyes and get them bigger. So they, they don't even want you targeting them. They say spot one right here is one of the best spots for muskies, little weed bed there. We're staying at the uh, Indian Mounds campground right here. So we put in this landing, so we're just off the shore. So we're just gonna zoom over here. I think this is gonna be our first spot. So another thing to note about this lake is the water is extremely clear and it is a bright, sunny, clear day today. It's gonna be in the 80s. So I don't know if that's gonna spook the fish a little or not, but it's gonna give us some really good underwater views and something's just jumping over there. All right, enough talking, let's get fishing. Take her slow in case we see a uh... Nice sweetie yeah. spot. Kind of get a look at the lake. There's more weeds out here. Oh yeah. Sporadically. Well see we're on a kind of a shelf like I said so. Rock. Rock yeah. It's good walleye. Small mo. Rocky areas. So. There's a big bass right Ooh, there. Oh jeez. Not small. a bad. Oh another big one. one. Holy cow. I wonder if those must be small mouth I'm guessing. Yeah. Here's another one. Another one? There's fish all over the oh, place geez. there. Holy cow. Well, let's try here then. All right, here we go. First fish coming in the boat. There he goes. Oh, I got a big hook on, so I don't know. Got him. I got that Mickey thing on there. Whatever. Oh, you do? All right, medium bluegill. <laughs> there, I got him. Oh, look at that. Not quite big enough. You're getting close, though. So. We're, we're cool. camping at the Indian Mounds there, so we need to have some dinner tonight. So if we catch some nice bluegills, we can keep some of those.
quite make it to spot one yet because as we're driving, we saw all kinds of smallmouth over there. And then we came around the corner here and we saw a whole bunch of bluegills in this little weedy spot. Okay, good one? Yeah. Bass? Ooh, what do I got? I got a walleye. Ooh, you got a walleye? No, it's a smallmouth. Small? We'll net him. <laughs> oh, here's our net job. We're doing a great <laughs> job at it. Come here. <laughs> go in the net. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, he fell him. off. Did he break it or did he no. fall? No. This came off. Cool. Measure him quick. We got about 12 and a half incher. All right, we just left that spot. Now we're at the spot number one on the book there. Supposed to be good for musky and walleye. Hey, if you want one of these Sportsman's Guide books, uh, you can go down in the description below. I got a link for them. You get 10% off. I highly recommend getting them. One of those lakes, I got to have all my poles out. What am I doing? There's one. Ooh, what? Right down here. Musky? Yeah. Right by this weed down here. See him? Does he want to ride by your Oh yeah, plate? there he is. Want to hit the anchor? Just see him. All right, there's a musky down here. We just got on a rubber minnow there and he went after that. So it's cool because the water's so clear here, we can see him follow him up. And there's, he didn't look that big, right? About 30 some inches maybe. Well, at spot one in the book, we had that musky follow us up twice, and I had a couple bites on my leech, but didn't get him. So let's head over to spot number two. What'd you say? Something about shallow or something? It's probably gonna be shallow and rocky, so you better take over. Log up here, bud. Ooh. It's your favorite thing in the world. Here we go. Fish around the log. We're gonna fish right down the log. There's a big bed right there too. Ooh, yeah. Fish on it. Ooh, is there? Yeah. Sweet. A big bass on it. Right below ya. Alright, change of plans. I couldn't find that spot number two. It's kind of out in the middle there and there's a hump in it. Uh, we went all over the maps, didn't really match up. So we are trying now, we're by Picnic Island. So we were up here looking around for it, but so we just came down now we're uh, right here. Just gonna work around these, it's a real shallow area in between and it's really deep all the way around. There's the island, there's a buoy right over there and it's shallow and rocky throughout here. Oh, missed you. Coming back. Hitting it again. Oh, got him now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a large mole. Took the leech. <laughs> Woo. Come here, buddy. We got... 13 inch largemouth. Oh, we got him. Bluegills? No oh, rock bass. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. Keep on the beach. Oh. Bass? Rock, rock bass. bass. We found Rock Bass City. Everybody's showing up to our spot. Yeah. What's going on? Get the frick out of here. We catch a rock bass and boats flying in everywhere. Freaking they're jealous. It's a big lake. Go find your own spot. I know. Who? Have them. Oh, jeez, it's a good one too. I might need a net. He's fighting good. What do you got? What do you got? What are you? Big bass? Weeds? Yeah, it's a bass. Come here. There we go. Come here, buddy. 
Nice one. Look at that. Right by the old hazard buoy. It's always a good spot to fish. You are 14 inches. There you go. That is a big rock. Holy cow, that's a boulder. Oh yeah. We got oh gosh. Let's look at this pig. He's almost too big. That is a monster one, but I don't want to keep the huge ones. I just want a medium one, so we'll let the big ones go. Ooh, got one. <laughs> oh what what is that? Kind of long and skinny. Maybe it was a grass pickerel. <laughs> <laughs> There's one. Rock bass. Rocky. Ooh, look at them all. Ooh, ooh. I just had three of them come up at my bobber. <laughs> I think they're just those rock bass. Yeah, we're on the other side now where I said it's shallow and it just drops right off, but it's kind of rocky there, so, so we're getting into rock bass. <laughs> we got a double on. And that's an eater. It's perfect size. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> Flipped him right in the boat? Yeah. Is there a fish on it? No. Oh. There was well, I yanked it and it came flying out of the water. I thought a fish went flying in the boat when you did that. I was just doing what you usually do. Oh, yeah. Fling shit around. Told you don't watch me. <laughs> I don't teach you well. Oh, got one too. Double on. <laughs> All right, who's got the bigger? Oh, I got a smallmouth. I got a bluegill. Smallmouth bluegill. Yeah, we're kind of in an area where it's, again, what are we at? 22 feet and we're just 30 feet off of shore here. So it's a straight drop. And then right by those buoys there, it comes up, it's all shallow again. So. Very interesting structure on this lake. It's kind of cool. It's got a structure fisherman's dream right here. We found a hippopotamus on Tomahawk Lake. Normally I'd say this would be like a pikey place to... It's been a while since it's caught a muskie though. It'd be nice to catch some monkeys. Some <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming right behind us. Really? You gotta be me. Offs. Rock bass. Uh, bluegill. You got something following mine. Hoo -hoo. See it? Yeah. Is, is it? it a weed? It's a weed. Oh. It's a very long weed. Jesus. <laughs> I've seen it from way back there. Like, oh my god, so are all that thing. All right, now something's gonna happen. There, I got something following it. Ooh, yeah, a bigger one. See? Yeah. Oh, what was it? You think? It was a musky. Really? Oh, big one! Get in it. <laughs> it's a northern. Is it? We can eat you. Barely hooked. <laughs> Yes, he does a fine netting job. We didn't think we were going to catch any northern in here. What did I tell you? As soon as you put it on. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're definitely meal size. 24. Perfect. Nice. All right, we just went to the far east end of the lake. There's another landing here. I, I can't tell if it's a public landing or if it shows a little campground on the map, so it might be part of the campground. We'll take a look at it. There it is. Looks like you can put in probably three boats at once. Pretty nice big landing there. Huge dock. A couple docks here. Yeah, looks pretty decent. I'm guessing it's part of a campground, but uh, I'd have to go up to make sure. Some 
bluegills swimming around in here. Pass all over the place in here. Got him. Ooh, good one too. Big fatty. Big fatty. Big fatty. Yeah. According to the map book, this little stretch of shoreline here is supposed to be good for musky. So we've been trying that. I just threw on a leech though because we weren't seeing any musky. Trying to catch something here. And it paid off. Perch! perch. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we caught a perch! Knocking other species off. Let's see, where's a good spot? What's that? <laughs> so where's a good spot? We're right at a tree so we can tie that it off. Right, that's what I was initially going for. Time for lunch. All right, lunch time is over. It is, uh, what, 3.30, something like that? So we're gonna spend the uh, rest of the day fishing the other half of the lake. So this morning, let's see, there's the landing this morning. We did uh, down in here and down in here and up and around here. It's so now time to hit this half of the lake. All right, now we're just gonna work around this little kind of peninsula here. It's uh, really shallow, it goes out a ways. It's a little sandbar, you see it out here big rocks the point and then it kind of gets really shallow all the way out we're just gonna follow that all the way around I got a weird combination of stuff on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Your bass yeah want me to net him eh, maybe he seems pretty decent I got him yeah there we go. So that dragon behind the boat again. Almost 12 inches. We got rock bass. <laughs> yep, <laughs> rock bass. <laughs> well, I was just gonna put the crawfish looking one on. I got another one. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, I know. Feel good. Alright, we zoomed all the way to the very southwest end of the lake. Now we'll just kind of work our way back around the north and make a complete circle. But it's beautiful back here. A couple of islands, just calm and nice. It's really deep, and then as soon as you hit this island here, it goes straight up and like five feet of water. I got one on my bobber. Alright, I'll be right back. There we go. Alright. Ooh, what is it? What do I got? What do I got? Rock bass. <laughs> Your favorite. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what we got? Oh, big rock bass. <laughs> rock bass love your little green thingy. <laughs> I think they do. Whatever that is. Oh, nope, he gets two of them. Ooh, I this time he's bass. got a largemouth bass. Is that your first largey? Yeah. And it's Cheeto time. Ow. I don't know, I might have to get out the whopper plopper in here. Ooh, yeah. This is like the most I've ever caught bass on jigs. Oh jeez, I got, <laughs> did you see that? Oh, I got one too. <laughs> oh, oh. I got a big rock bass. Holy cow. <laughs> I just threw the whopper plopper out. And I just 
didn't even pull it. I just hit the water and I let it sit there for a second and I had one on. That bass. Oh yeah, crazy bass. Holy <laughs> cow. Want a net? Yeah, it's pretty good. My biggest fish today. It is. <laughs> See if you can knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Two good net jobs today. Yep. 13 exactly. You were a fighter. A yes, one. I was. Raw. It's a little smaller. Yeah, there go. Should we go back there? This whole this whole area is kind of shallow, so we can cover it all. We'll Going go between over. the islands. We'll zip over this way. Yeah, go ahead. Just there's make not a too many weeds. <laughs> You're gonna break my pole. <laughs> You got the hole back, and you always end up stepping on my poles. <laughs> I know. Step on well, your own poles. Between my poles and your poles, I got a, like a three-foot spot I can walk. <laughs> tripping. Look at that fat thing. Yeah, let's see that thing. It's got a couple of them now with just really fat bellies. So they've been eating good in here. My son Reed, he's all into birds lately, so got this app so far we got a red-eyed vero pine warbler rock pigeon american crow a wood thrush and a common raven so it listens for birds it tells you what's around here uh -uh. that and that was a reggie we got one. Oh, oh yeah <laughs> and the old rubber minnow yeah A big, oh, it was a big smallmouth. Oh, fudge. How big? It was, <laughs> this, oh, it, was man. Big. it was a big one. I was even getting the net for you. Bluegills. Can I always count on bluegills? <laughs> oh, did you lose it? Broke. And that bait doesn't float. <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't float. Hmm. It says slow, no wake. <laughs> he didn't get the memo. Well, all right, it's seven o'clock, and we made it all the way to the far northwest end, just to show you what it looks like up here. So it goes right up, we're right about here. It goes up there. There's supposed to be a boat landing up there. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, anywhere from five to ten feet here, with a lot of weeds and stuff. So. That might be a good spot to try real quick. Fish for like a half hour longer. And... Yep. So I just kind of see what this, this ends about. And then there's one spot on the way back we can hit for a couple minutes. And that's about it. Bluegill. Bluegills. And more bluegills. All right, Lake Tomahawk might go down as one of my top 10 favorite lakes we fish. This place is awesome. Clear water, lots of structure, tons of places to fish. And we caught pretty much everything but a walleye and... Well, we saw a muskie, but we didn't catch one. We'll be here for the next five days. We're going to hit another lake tomorrow. So if you like seeing the lakes in the uh, Rhinelander, Monaco area, check out this lake right here that we fished up here. All right, everyone. We'll see you on the next lake. Thanks for watching. All right. As soon as I turn the camera off, Reggie catches the monster of a bluegill. Yeah. If you can pick him up off the floor. Yeah. Look at the size of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beauty. Got uh, him right at spot seven there. <laughs>